Three common obstacles in the way of implementing good boundaries. Everyone's obstacles for setting healthy boundaries may be different, but there are some very common ones out there. Generally, these obstacles have to do with people believing they don't deserve to set boundaries or not knowing how to properly set them. With some research and reading, all of these common obstacles can be overcome. 1. Fear of being abandoned. As difficult as it is to admit, many people have a fear of being abandoned by all their close relatives and friends. The mere thought of telling them something they may not like could convince you that they are going to leave you right away. However, if it is so easy to see them abandoning you, then should they really be in your life? For some people, this fear of abandonment is constant, not just when they are setting boundaries. Sometimes, it is internal anxiety or something else, but often this feeling comes about when others do things to make you feel like they don't care. These are the people that setting boundaries with may benefit you most. Setting boundaries with them could make sure that they don't make you feel lesser than and don't give you that constant anxiety. If they truly care about you and want to be in your life, then they will not abandon you. If they do abandon you, then it is better for your well-being that they are out of your life. 2. Non-deserving Many people underestimate themselves and believe they do not deserve the best in life. With boundaries, people may believe that their boundaries aren't that important or aren't huge changes so they don't deserve to set them. Or, the reason could be even more deep-seated and traumatic. No matter what your reason for feeling non-deserving of boundaries, you are wrong. Everyone on this planet is here for a reason and deserves to set boundaries so that others do not make you uncomfortable or hurt your emotions or mental stability, including you. There is no such thing as deserving a sense of self and boundaries. It is a given right. Looking deeper into yourself could give you a better idea of why you believe you don't deserve this. Then from there, you may be able to work through it and get rid of these obstacles. 3. Fear of an argument Most people don't inherently know how to start a conversation about their boundaries. Not knowing how to do this or not being able to plan it out can lead to believing that there will be anger on the other side of the conversation and maybe even an argument. These can make people never want to risk bringing up the conversation. Once again, if you think these people will start an argument about healthy boundaries you are trying to set, then it's time to look at the real traits of these people. Those who you have healthy relationships with would not start an argument over a healthy boundary setting. They would have your best interest at hand. Everyone has different fears when starting the journey into setting healthy boundaries within their relationships. A great way to work through any fear is to look inwardly. First, figure out what exactly your fears and perceived obstacles are. Writing them down can sometimes help sort out your thoughts. Then, figure out why these are fears in your mind. Getting to the root of the issue is a large step in overcoming the issue. While you may find out more about yourself than you may like, it will help you in the long run. From there, you are able to dismantle these irrational obstacles or fears. Then, you are well on your way to setting healthy boundaries. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.